Today is January 23rd. Pastor saying to us, Sanctified Priest. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 21. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord, and that should praise the beauty of holiness, as they went out before the army, and to say, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endureth forever. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9 says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that he shall show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's our calling right there. It's to a life of praise. We are sanctified to praise the Lord. In the Bible, David, being a prophet of God, was inspired of the Lord to organize the Levites into choirs. That's because he had the revelation of true worship. David was a musician, an instrumentalist, and a songwriter. He was a singer, and he also made instruments. In the palace of Saul, king of Israel, he often played the flute, 1 Samuel chapter 16, verses 14 to 23. Bible tells us they did make music in kings' houses. Music wasn't something new to the world, but music for God was different. If music was going to be offered in sacrifice to God, it could only be done by the Levites inside the temple, 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 4. Furthermore, our praise is a weapon against the adversary. Recall what happened with Joseph. Three enemy nations allied against Judah. But Jehoshaphat organized with the people and put the singers in front of the army. The Bible says, And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 22. That's the power of sanctified praise. There are battles you win with praise. Read Acts chapter 16, verses 25 to 26 and see how Paul and Silas were supernaturally delivered from their captors as they praised the Lord. In the New Testament, we are the circumcision that worship God in the spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh, Philippians chapter 3, verse 3. We are the ones he sanctified to offer him true worship. It's the reason we can worship him in spirit and in truth. We often have our praise night services where as a global audience, we pour out our hearts in worship and praise to the Lord for his love, goodness, grace, and wondrous works. Be sure to be a part of these live services and relive the moments during the rebroadcast on our loved one networks. Please say this prayer with me. Precious Lord Jesus, I worship you. You are the King eternal, immortal, with all power, glory, and majesty. You are the monarch of the universe, and you alone have all authority in heaven, in the earth, and under the earth. You are the most high God, worthy of all praise, honor, and adoration. You are king of the ages. I worship you today and forever. Amen. For further study, please read 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Verses 21 to 22, and Acts chapter 16, verses 25 to 26. The one year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 15, verses 29 to chapter 16, verses 1 to 12, and Exodus chapters 3 to 5. For the two year Bible reading plan, please read Matthew chapter 9, verses 1 to 13, and Genesis chapter 23. Reality.